When you are young, the allure of good looking and rich men is strong and you often fall in and out of relationships with them. After a while, it starts getting tiring and you wonder whether you are valued at all. Young women usually fall for the wrong guys. Their relationships always end and leave them broken and sometimes unwilling to try again. In this video, I'm going to share with you 7 reasons why women fall for the wrong guys. Number 1. Poor self-esteem. Men are driven by what they see. Some can marry you simply because you're beautiful. According to Irish poet Oscar Wilde, a man's face is his autobiography, a woman's face is her work of fiction. While the man is attracted to you, he may not want to be with you if he sees some qualities he is uncomfortable with. Poor self-confidence is one of them. The man wants to adore you and wants you to know you are adorable. He wants you to be confident in your beauty and poise. Sometimes, when you are not confident in your looks and you tell him about it all the time, he might lose interest in you. As a lady, you have to value yourself more than men value you. Most men just want to have a good time and if you have insecurities, they can exploit it to their advantage. For instance, if you didn't care whether people thought you were pretty or not, you would be able to see through someone complimenting you falsely to get your attention. You have to work on your personal growth and career and have a stable life. This puts you in a position where you can choose the type of partner you want. If you do not do this, you will attract unstable people who want the momentary pleasure of being with you without the commitments to stay on a long-term basis. Number 2. The Fear of Commitment In relationships, commitment can be a big issue. Commitment means long-term and sometimes you just want to be in a cool relationship and not feel the pressure to stay if you no longer want to. Long-term relationships are pretty serious and often lead to marriage and most young women are not ready for marriage. Sometimes to avoid this, young women enter into relationships that are headed nowhere to avoid a big commitment. Part of growing up is making decisions. If you're not ready for a serious relationship, then don't go into one. There is no pleasure. People have settled down at 40. Outline what you want clearly and stick to it. Do not enter in and out of relationships simply to avoid long-term commitments. It is emotionally draining and can lead to depression in the long run. Number 3. Soulmate Syndrome You just saw this guy at your sister's wedding. He was your sister's classmate at Princeton. He's so handsome and polite. Everything about him is perfect. You shared your first kiss with him and you feel like you don't want to let go. He calls you and texts you all day long. Such guys are usually a fantasy. In reality, if he does that, he probably really likes you, but that gets old after a while. As a young woman, you need to stop building your ideal picture of the man and thinking anyone that does any of the things you have listed is the one. In reality, some of them have ended up cheating on their partners so much for true love. Men are human and human beings make mistakes. The assumption that a relationship has to be perfect might be why you are yet to find the one for you. If a man is too perfect, it's usually a sign that there's something about him. Many women thinking they have found their soulmates have slept with such people and shared deep emotions only to be disappointed subsequently. He might be cute and nice, but just because he is doesn't make him your soulmate. Number 4. Deciding on the traits you want in a man until you decide what you want in a man, you might keep ending up with people who do not share your values and beliefs. You need to set a standard for yourself. It doesn't matter what the standard is, it is your life. If you are sapiosexual, you probably pick your dates from a research institute, MIT or Wall Street. Setting a standard automatically disqualifies a lot of men and allows you breathing space to do other productive things. It also makes it easy to make bigger commitments since the man already meets your taste in a man. Ladies who make these decisions on time avoid needless dates and relationships that end up in breakups. Number 5. Hoping that love conquers all According to Jennifer Burrows, an American wellness coach, it goes against all logic to date someone that will hurt you. 
but matters of the heart are hardly logical. It's not anyone's aspiration to suffer heartbreaks. They are quite painful and discourage future relationship endeavors. However, we can choose our outcomes when we enter into relationships only after giving it some thought. Unless you want to be fleeting, going from one man to another, you need to think seriously about your life and your goals. How does the relationship support that? Dating Mr. Mommy issues that hasn't kept a job in three years, how is being with him going to help you? You must understand that Mr. Mommy Issues also has his reasons for wanting to be with you beyond sex. Do not hope that you can change him. It is a mistake young women make in their early relationships. Eventually, such unions end in divorce. Sadly, if he was not well to do, the courts will then divide your hard-earned property and give him a portion for being your spouse as compensation. No one likes divorce or wants one. Only go out with people you have carefully evaluated. Time is your most precious asset. You can't burn it pursuing a relationship that will ultimately make you unhappy. Number 6. Using relationships to pass time As a young woman, you have the opportunity to be whoever you want to be. You can be a writer, a lawyer, a medical doctor, a musician, an artist, and even the president. At this stage, your physical features are more pronounced and you have more attention than you can handle. Everyone wants to buy you a drink and hang out with you. Don't get carried away. Ordered glitters oftentimes is not gold. Many young women are in relationships because they thought it would be fun. Their friends had boyfriends they wanted to try it out to. This often leads to unfulfillment in the relationship because they never had any real interest. They end up passing time by being with the person. This is rather counterproductive. Relationships are built and don't happen simply because there are two willing parties. The woman who does this is losing out on valuable time they would have spent building a genuine relationship with a person of their choice. Number 7. Focusing on physical features only. According to Buchi Emecheta, an acclaimed Nigerian writer, a man is never ugly. A man's worth can seldom be detected from how he looks. This applies to women as well. Sometimes, the most beautiful ones are often not the smartest or the most talented and vice versa. In this age of social media, it is easy to be carried away by perfect bodied men on Instagram who sport six packs and Giorgio Armani suits. In reality, the most intelligent men in history are rather unremarkable in appearance. Young women who seek relationships with only men of appealing physical looks usually end up disappointed. Physical attributes are important, but in the larger scheme of things, they should weigh lower in a person's chosen criteria. In conclusion, relationships are great until you get heartbroken. You shouldn't enter a relationship at all until you are surer of yourself and know what you are looking for in a partner.